here! Vance Race 79 here, and I'm back with another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Legends Arceus Part 35 it's Trial of Lake Acuity. Okay then, let's get started. Pressing the A button now. And here we are, back where I last saved. For those of you who watched my previous video, I spent that time completing the mission, Trial of Blake Valor, met the legendary Pokemon Azel, and I got the item, Azel's Fang. And now I'm on to my next objective, which is Mission 16, Trial of Blake Acuity. Alrighty then, let's get going. Where I'll be heading, and there it is, to Alabaster Islands, to Ice Peak Camp. And here we are, Ice Peak Camp. And Lake Acuity is right over there, so first let's fly up there. Go! Braviary, soar to the sky! There's a Drift Blim over there. Oh, it saw me. Ah, no! Go, Sneasler! Go, Pikachu! Challenge by Drift Blim. Pikachu, use your Thunder Punch on Drift Blim. Ah, so close! Drift Blim, use Self-Destruct. Ah oh, no! Suicide attack! And... Drift and faint it. Alright. To the item bag. Gotta use revive and bring Pikachu back to life. Alright. Then a little potion action to restore Pikachu to full health. Okay, let's be on our way. Fly, Breviary! There's some Snowbird and Obama Snow there. Let's see. Snowbird's entering the Pokedex says... It still needs to be defeated by Fire-type moves. And for Obama Snow... Still got a... Hmm. Defeat it in Fire-type moves or catch another one. Alright then. Go, Infernic! Infernic, use your... Flamethrower on Snowbird! One hit KO! Snowbird's fallen! And... Off we go! Fly, Breviary! Another Snobber and a regular Abomasnow. Okay. Preparing... Wing Balls! Throw! Ah, oh, no, got out. Go! Wing Ball! And jump! Ah, oh, no, got out again. Alright then. Alright, dodge attack, back strike! Go, Infernape! Infernape, defeat a bomb of snow with flamethrower! One hit KO! Obama still fainted! Take on Snowbird! Alright then, Infernape, use your flamethrower one more time! Another one hit KO! Snowbird falls! Okay, that should do it. Fly up some more. Ah! Soar! Soar even higher! We made it! We're almost at the lake! Pick up the satchel over there. Lost and found. Soar! Oh, 
Oh my gosh, it's a Bastillion! I gotta catch it! Oh no, it got away again. Nope, it's over there. Go! Yes! Wing ball! Jump and... Pop! I finally caught a Bastillion! Another wing ball. Jump and hop. Got another basculin. This is Alpha Rufflet over there. Let's see. Rufflet. R U F Rufflet. R U R U. There it is, Rufflet. All right. I got a defeat of electric type moves and battle. Okay. I guess I'll test my luck and try to catch it. Go. Ah, crud! Saw me! Go! Yes! Back strike! And got it roughly there. Switching to Infernic. Back strike! Alright then. Infernic, use Thunder Punch on Ruffling! One hit KO! Ruffling falls! One more battle against the Rufflet there. Infernic, use Thunder Punch! One hit KO, battle's over. Now let's go meet with Irida and Volo. There they are. Here we are, Lake Acuity. You know, I told it contains seawater as well. Nobody knows why, though. It could be a fluke of geography, or perhaps it's connected to a Pokemon somehow. Lake Acuity is protected by the Pokemon Yuxi. When Yuxi took flight, the knowledge to solve problems was born in people's minds. That's what the stories say, anyway. Oh, my arc phone! It's beeping! Activate Secret Passage Opener app! And another entrance is opened up for me. A tool that can make caves simply appear nowhere is quite a handy one to have. I wonder what waits inside. I imagine there may be a Pokemon in there protecting the lake's guardian. Take care. A little late to be telling us that since we've already cleared two of those lakes and fought two Pokemon over there. Alright, let's go inside. I sense a chill in the air. What is this? A menacing Pokemon stands before me. Oh my gosh, it's a Hisuian Zoroark! Could... Could that be the dread Baneful Fox? Baneful Fox? Could... Could that be the dread Baneful Fox? Okay. Use XP Candy on Zoroark. Crit Dust on... Zoroark on Pikachu. That should do it. Then let's see. Zoroark's type is Ghost and Normal. Hmm. That means Dark type moves will have no effect. Hmm. Ghost and normal. Fighting types will have no effect, but... Hmm. Should I try switching up my moves? It's a ghost type, so... Shadow Claw will work, then. Alright, then I guess I'll stick to my DCY and try my luck. Heading to battle. The Sudowai! Challenged by Zorork Alpha. 
Alpha Dwarf, you Shadow Claw! Nice try! But it's a fighting type, so it won't be effective. Let's see. Then, let's see. What should I use? Decidueye, you Sleep Blade and Zoroark! So close! Zoroark, you Shadow Claw! Almost out of HP. One more time, Leaf Blade! And the work has fallen! And it's gone! The Baneful Fox is a Pokemon said to be filled with malice. You were told stories about it as children. Oh, there's something here. I felt a mysterious presence. It's above us! It's Luxi! Hyun! That Pokemon that appeared, could it be the one Volo mentioned? Luxi? Looks like it. Let's approach it. Come, I will test your knowledge. Condi, Zubat, Unknown, Magneton, Dustgloss. How many are their eyes? Tell me each one by one, yet all at once. Answer me. Could you repeat that? Combi, two eyes. Zubat, zero. Unknown, one. Magneton, three. Dustbox, one. So, two, zero, one, three, one. I read the answer. Two, zero, one, three, one. Okay. Answer me true if answer you would. Oh, I got it wrong. Come, I will test your knowledge. Combi, Zubat, Unknown, Magneton, Dustclops. How many are their eyes? Tell me each, one by one, yet all at once. Okay, I'm ready to answer. 20131, so 2 then. 10. Total order. Oh, no. Not enough, so. Alright, Combi have. Six. Wait, go back. Still. Hmm. Answer me true, answer you would. Alright. How many eyes do they have in sequence? Okay. Combi. Oh, that's right. Combi have three heads, so six eyes. Let's try again. Come, I will test your knowledge. Combi, Zubat, Unknown, Magneton, Dustgloves. Six, zero, one, three, one. How many other eyes? Tell me each, one by one, get all at once. I'm ready to answer. Six, zero, one, three, one. Soon. Take this piece of the spirit to bind the world once more. And I passed the trial. I got Yuxi's claw. Yuxi's claws? Proof that I've completed the trial set by Yuxi. Being of knowledge that lives in liquidity. This item is needed to forge the red chain. And Yuxi left the building. Amazing! You've cleared all three trials in the lakes! You really are a wonder! Thanks. Amazing! you clear cleared all three trials in the lakes! You really are a wonder! Okay, then... Head outside. Leave.
It seems we finished the three lake trials. If I remember correctly, we were told to then head for the shrouded ruins. I don't know what it is. Well, it was there, but I'm always explore excited to explore some ancient ruins. Let us be on our way. Huh, we're already in the obsidian ruins. Okay. The Shrouded Ruins. Mist is so very good at obscuring things, it's a long been said to blur boundaries. If we're to somehow bring together the world of humans, the world of Pokemon, and the world of myth, then maybe we need a setting such as this. That being said, what are we meant to do now? Seems I've made it in time. Oh, Miss Kagita! You arrived just when we assembled all three gifts. Did you some somehow see our progress across the distance dividing us? I had the aid of a remarkable Pokémon, if you really wish to know. What Pokémon? Could this mean... Did you mean that Pokémon that flits about the Hisui region? Ah, uh, but never mind that now. What about the Red Shane? How are we to forge it? I would hardly know. But you don't know? We speak of a divine instrument. One said to be capable of binding the very world. Do you really imagine it can be forged by mortal hands? Then what are we to do? Search the entire vest of Hisui for the answer? Wait, something's going on. Yuxi! Azel! And Nesprit! So they're gonna help us, huh? Ah, the Pokemon of the lakes! They're glowing red! Ominously. And I got something. Oh, it's a hula hoop? Nope, it's the red chain. And they left again. Goodbye, three. So it was true. The pact that our people have passed down for all these generations have been kept. At last, I can set this burden aside. You succeeded once again, Terry. Yet things do not seem to be going well for the rest of the world. What have you heard now? I've heard some news from my fellow merchants in the Ginkgo Guild. It seems the commander is going to forgo waiting for an investigation to finish. He plans to climb Mount Coronet himself. Has he lost his senses? He plans to get close to the rift to study himself? Well, he doesn't know yet that Artaria has managed to get the red shade now, does he? That's true. There's no way he could. We need to tell him about the chain and about everything Terry's achieved before he sets out. Yep. And Jubilife Village, we're finally back. Akari! I haven't seen her in a while. What's... Terry? Akari! What's wrong? Welcome back! It's been grim here. We in the Survey Corps hardly even speak to one another lately. But with you back, maybe Captain Silene will act his appetite for Potato Mush will return. Anyway, wait here a minute, will you? I'll go let the captain know you're back. Oh, it's the professor! Oh my! Dear Terry! The professor has been awfully worried about you, Terry. Of course I was worried, but I don't think I could hold a candle to discuss you, Shona Furry. That's blowing out of proportion. I don't think it's appropriate for an adult to make things up just to hide their embarrassment. But, um, where's the captain? Wasn't she coming along with you, Professor? She's buried with a mound of work, I'm afraid. We're to join her in the survey corps office. It seems her hands are more than now full now that Commander Kamado's gone. The Commander's gone? He's not here? He's not here? Well, he set out for Mount Coronet the security corps in tow. He's determined to handle this whole space-time rift business himself, including dealing with the Pokémon that spotted on the other side. That's why I was filling in for the regular guards with Pikachu at the ready. Well, 
We aren't getting anywhere out here. Let's head inside and report to the captain. So you managed not to die, just as I ordered. Well done. Thanks to you, Captain. I owe it to Irita. I owe it to Irita. No doubt your past needs earned you the help of many you have received. Before moving forward, I must ask. I assume that you are here again because you managed to learn something of use? I visited these lakes. I got this red chain. Go on. You explain about the red chain you obtained. A legendary tool said to bind the very world. Commander Komodo is no longer here in Jubilee Village. The security force have been scouting the area near the Space Time Rift, and they reported sightings of something on the other side of it, something that resembled a Pokemon. The commander made the decision to take the security force to the mountain and to prepare to fend off any possible threat. They were to make for the temple as we speak. However strong the commander himself may be, he would have gone there to help. As the captain of the survey corps, I hereby order you to proceed as follows. Terry, take that red chain to Mount Coronet, make your way to the peak, and put an end to all this. You are officially reinstated at your former rank. Mission, atop Mount Coronet. Are you certain you can do it for the commander away? If he didn't wish me to decide things in this place, then he should not have left me in charge here. Can't argue with that logic. Then I'll go as well. We're all in this together. We members of the Survey Corps. Naturally, no one suggests that you should not. Okay. Oh, I got some more requests. It's a Lucario, sweet! Groove. Something the matter, Lucario? I haven't seen that guy before. He looks familiar. I'm Rai. And you are? Terry. Oh, you're Terry. Nice to meet you. Groove. What is it, Lucario? Groove. It seems Lucario sends your strong aura too. If you're willing to battle us, could you come to the training grounds? Request 88. Steely Lucario. Okay, any other requests? Nope, let's head outside then. Hmm, no other requests, so... Let's head outside, I guess, so... Oh, there's Irina! Did you find the commander, Terry? The commander is already at Mount Coronet. Already? How could a grown man like Commander Komodo be so reckless? First expelling you, Terry, and now this, I think he needs a stern talking to. Agreed. As the leader of the Pearl Clan, loyal to Almighty Sinnoh who reigns over space, I can go anywhere and vast easily as I please, and now I am going to stop the commander. Hmm, who is the reckless one? You gotta run out of the village, right? But you still try to find a way to help us all? That's right. That's right. Terry worked hard to get that great chain to help us. Too right, and a fine job he did too. The survey corps is always hard at work for the sake of everyone in the village, as well as for the sake of our relations with Pokemon. Thanks! Here, take this! I got a Max Revive! Sweet item! And they left. Your orders are three. One! Make for the summit camp, and from there, the Temple of Sinnoh. Two! Use the red chain to resolve this mess. And three! Return here, alive! Yes, ma'am.
And here we are in a new camp. Oh, it's Volo! I've heard the latest, so you've been accepted back into the galaxy team, have you? That's right. I suppose congratulations are in order. Here, some max potions for me to celebrate. Oh, nice! Thanks for the gift! Max Potion, topical medicine meant to be applied to Pokemon, can be used to completely restore the max HP of a single Pokemon. It looks like the big moment is upon us at last, but no doubt it'll be fine. After all, you worked so hard to earn that red chain. Both Adamon and Rita have headed to the peak as well. My good friend Terry, I wish you great fortune in the battles to come. I would truly regret losing one of our most beloved and loyal customers. It seems Kamado intends to use the summit camp as a base of operations for this uptaking. As for me, I think it will set up shop closer to the temple itself. And he's off. Alright, I'll see you there. Hey, it's Melly. Haven't seen you in a while. Things certainly have gotten out of hand. Well, if anything goes wrong, the great Melly will be here. For moral support, at least. Much appreciated. And... Oh, it's a request. Oh, thank goodness you passed by. Please, I need you to rescue my spiel. It's adorable, round body causing it to go rolling down the hill, and it's heading straight for the stone tube frozen Fuller over Ravine. Those areas are full of dangerous Pokemon. You're that new survey course member everyone's talking about, right? Please help me find my dear spiel. Request 87, rolling with steel. Hmm, anything else here? Just some Luxio and... Hmm, nothing here. There's something shiny there. Let's just grab... Alright, Zoroark, smack that rock! Okay. And let's get back up to the camp here. Summit camp. Let's report back to the professor and update our Pokedex. And got some cash. And let's update the entries in the Pokedex. Still need some more work, but a lot of stuff is getting filled out. Alright, with that, that's just about all the time we have for today. First off, I want to say thank you to the viewers for watching today's video, and to please stay tuned for more videos I plan to upload again in the near future. I also hope you all show support by liking, commenting, sharing, subscribing to my videos and channel. And with that, I say goodbye and see you all soon.